Oh, shit, son, big dog here. Yo, that's Bella. That's her sister in the background. Her sister's placed out somewhere. Yeah, we about to do something with Bella this spring, man. I got the little micro mini girl. We're going to uh, base our bloodline off of her. She's a proven female, two years old. Uh, good genetics. Good uh, breathing. Uh, smart. She listens quick. Learns fast. Um, like I said, she doesn't have any breathing problems. Beautiful conformation, beautiful colors. Um, she's built like a little tank, like a little, like she's been working out her whole fucking life. And uh, what's happening is uh, we're gonna base our bloodline off of her. We finally got a male. We got a male that we're gonna breed to her. Um, so try, she's a chocolate try, actually. She looks great, but she's chocolate try. We have a, a blue try that we're gonna probably breed to her. Um, yeah, the puppy's gonna come out awesome. So if you guys are interested in the puppy, let me know as soon as possible. Get where you can get on the list. Uh, yeah. All I'm doing is, um, I'm not your average breeder guy out here. I'm not really a breeder, but I'm gonna do is, I like her and I'm gonna use her to establish my own little bloodline of micros. You know what I'm saying? I love the bulldog look to her, you feel me? She got that nice size head on her. She got a good temperament. She's easily housebroken. She had one accident since I've had her. Uh, right now she's placed in another home because I, you know, I don't have time for uh, to, to maintain with her right now when I got the other ones. But yeah, she's in a good home right now. Um, we are gonna do something with her, okay? Her last litter, she is a proven female. Her last litter, I believe she had nine puppies and uh, they all lived from what I understand. Um, she's just a beautiful lap dog. That's what she is. That's what I'm breeding. I'm breeding pet quality, but high quality pet quality of uh, miniature bullies. They don't take up much space. They don't take up much food. She's tiny. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, they're easy to get along with. The aggression, I'm not breeding for no aggression. I'm trying to get the, any aggression out of them. You know, so far she gets along with all the dogs. Um, yeah, and she's a bundle of joy. So if you guys want to get on the list to get a puppy from her, when she drops, look how little, like, look how little she is. Like, she's a tiny little shit. Yeah, so we got that up and lit, up coming later coming up this spring. She's going to produce some hot shit, like real hot shit. So this video is going to probably go past three minutes. You might want to go to YouTube to check out the full video. But yeah, Bella's going to be a, a, a something something hot to deal with. So if you're lucky enough to get one of her puppies, man, good luck. Because I got people right now waiting to get on the list. Um, so to grab one of her puppies. And I guess they want to introduce it into their, their breeding program. Yeah. Bella's a beautiful dog, man. So good luck getting a puppy from her. I don't even know if I even want to sell any of the puppies, to be honest with you. I'm thinking about just keeping her whole first litter and um, creating my own line of uh, miniature fluffy bulls. Oh, I know the game. I know the game in and out. I've been a pit bull man my whole life. APBT, baby. You know, real shit. Jeep, Kobe, uh, a boomerang. That good shit. You feel me? And uh, we used to produce dogs like this back in the day, but they were they were useless to us in the ring anyway. We usually gave dogs like this away. We would never breed them. But now the game done changed up. Now y'all got the shit that we used to throw away and you got charged $100,000 for you little ugly motherfuckers. So I'm figuring, I'm, I'm a knowledgeable dog, man. I bet you I can produce something better than what you guys are producing out there. Something with... Um, a high drive, low maintenance, something that uh, people will actually want. I'm not trying to breed for no health problem. I'm trying to get rid of them health problems. I'm trying to keep the dog short, and I'm trying to make some something, something happen. So, yeah, you want a good dog from a, a real good dog, man, that's been in the game for years? I got people to back me up on this shit. 
I'm not just your average person. I know what the fuck I'm doing with the dogs and genetics and shit. So I know what to breed to get what. Put it like that. All those fluffy Frenchies out there, all that bullshit you guys got out there, those are nothing but picking these crosses. We all know it. Yeah, I'm not trying to put nobody out there like that, but you guys are fucking caught breeding picking these uh, uh, to fucking French bulldogs and call them French fluffy Frenchies and shit like that, Pomeranians and all this other shit. You know, I've seen it. I seen a guy today on, on YouTube. The fucking dog looked just like a Pekingese, had it, but it was swole, and he called it a a fluffy uh, the new the new long haired fluffy Frenchie. Motherfucker, we done that shit back in the day. We've had accidents that look like that little ugly motherfuckers. But, hey, it is what it is. I know what I'm going for, and it's not going to be no bullshit. I can produce a fluffy Frenchie. I can produce a fluffy bulldog. That's nothing, man. <laughs> I'm looking for something else. What I'm about to do is going to be ridiculous, and you guys wanna might want to look out for what I'm about to happen soon. You guys are going to see some shit that you guys have never seen soon. So get ready. I don't know how you guys are going to take it, what I'm about to do, but it's going to be ridiculous. <laughs> I'm about to shit on these cats this year. Bella is my main girl. She's going to produce the highest shit that you guys can get, the highest quality. The best pet quality that you can get is going to come from Big Dog Kennels. So get at me when you can, man. If you guys want to get on the list, I ain't fucking around. I got uh, American Bulldogs coming from uh, Pearl. We got a stud for her. Finally, we've got a nice, good stud for her. And, uh, yeah, I don't do this paperwork, all this dumb shit. You guys are paper. There's no way you can paper a fucking mixed breed dog. We all know this. We all doing this designer puppy. All you guys are doing this the designer dogs. And don't, don't let them fool you on paperwork. There's no papers on these dogs. It's just some shit they made up. I'm sorry a lot of you guys out there talking about I got paper. No, you don't. No, the fuck you don't. I can do a genetic test on 90% on of your dogs and it'll fail. Call it for what it is. These are designer dogs. Okay, and I'm creating my own designer dog. Okay, I'm doing my own paperwork. Bella's going to be at the top along with the sire. And that's going to create a family tree. That's what we're doing. I'm not sugarcoating shit. I'm going to hook it up really nice. I'm, just, I'm starting my own family tree. And Bella's at the top of the family tree. So, I'm not sugarcoating nothing. I'm creating my own designer uh, mini pocket uh, bully where you can take around. And you ain't got to worry about her acting nutty and shit. I'm, I'm creating a smart dog. A smart, small a dog where you can put it in any apartment. And um, something that's easily... Um, easily... Uh, where, you, where you can actually afford the motherfucker. You feel me? Too many people out here overcharging for these fucking dogs. Things that we used to, we used to get to the dog pound back in the day. Well, since I like dogs... And I want to come out of retirement... And do something else besides this construction shit. I decided I'm gonna go ahead and um, yeah. I'm gonna show you guys what a real dog man can create. Not that bullshit you guys got out there. So stay tuned. God bless you. I'm not trying to put nobody down, but facts are facts, man. We used to destroy these dogs back in the day. They were nothing. They were useless to us. So, with that being said, I'm out the dog game in that way. And I, do, I found a new love for these little tiny motherfuckers. I like little dogs, man. Keep one around me. I keep my big dogs around me, too. Don't get shit twisted. I need my guard dogs. But these little motherfuckers is what you can take what you want to ride. You know what I'm saying? A companion, a travel companion. That's what we're looking to do. So, you want a pet for your children that's going to be compatible with the kids and short and, and, and not too much hassle? There you go. All my dogs are going to come microchipped. Okay? Um, every one of them is going to come microchip shots up to date and um, some may have ears cropped some may have tails cropped it all depends on the look that we're going for but get at me guys and uh, let's talk God bless Shytown Big Dog signing out